Department of Veterans Affairs is they're they're out of their wheelhouse. They're out of their league. They're dealing with World War II, Vietnam, Korea, Gulf War guys, you know, and the boat is about to be scuttled. There's the complexities of the injuries and the emotional instabilities that we see today was nothing like it was back back in the day, where they could get a handle of it, on it. You know, back then they didn't talk, they didn't care, they didn't like I don't have a problem. World War II boys are just and girls are just you know they the greatest generation for a reason. Not to take anything away from what from our other veterans and other wars, same thing. Uh, science, technology, research has the ability to see and define things that they didn't back in those days. Well, who's responsible directly correlated with those responsibilities, those treatment modalities, that's the VA. There's so many problems with so many complexities with the lack of, you know, lack of knowledge may not be the right term to use, but their ability to get their head around it. One doctor can't handle all that. Two doc, ten doctors can't handle all that. You have one, one guy or girl walking in with 10 to 15 different problems. You can't see a general practitioner for those problems. You have to see 10 to 15 different doctors, and you can't do that in the VA. They can't handle that. So the worst part about that is my generation is not here yet. They haven't showed up at the VA. And we've been fighting for over 16 years. Guess what? The boat will sink. It'll scuttle. That Poseidon wave's coming. That's us. And it's going to wash. Uh, the VA can't get out of their own way, in my opinion. I, and I'm, as a veteran, I, I don't have a problem saying that. Uh, it's just bogged down in policy and procedure in a way that the ones that suffer the most are the veterans. And that's a sad state. They're up there too. They're up there arguing about some things they shouldn't be arguing about. They forget what the who's important here. Honestly, publish that. I'm proud to say it. it they forget about the veterans, in my opinion, at the, at certain levels. The doctors there are amazing. I'll never take away anything, but the doctors are they're they're they're, they're handcuffed. And there's, we need to do something, and we're trying. This administration is trying so hard. And my, my hat's off to them. They are really trying to make the effort through the partnerships with the other departments inside, of, inside the government. They are really making the effort to make this change, but right now it's not, we're not there yet. That's where these other public-private institutes of research, medicine, these foundations that are, that are out there, 40,000, 400,000, I mean, the, list, the numbers, it grows exponentially daily. Those are the ones that are making the difference in these veterans' lives, but it's, it's, it's almost incomprehensible. This video was produced by Brainline, thanks to generous support from the Infinite Hero Foundation.